Good everyone and thanks for joining us right here on Midday Kentucky. I was just saying to Lisa, we were saying that um, there's going to be sheep from one end of the paddock to the next when we're talking about all the extravaganza when it comes to quilting. And Lisa was laughing so I said, wool is from sheep. I'm like, so uh, yeah, was, I know that. <laughs> and so I said, I said, because I come from a farm in Australia, that I can shear sheep and skin pigs. And she's like, yeah, I, sure you can. I said, I it. can. <laughs> I believe you. You I talk can. about it a lot. Thank <laughs> you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all talk. No, I really can. I really can. Um, there was one thing that what I used to hate doing on the farm mm -hmm. was when we used to um, do tick season and would, would have all the cows go through mm -hmm. the crush and then into the... Um, I've forgotten what the technical word is, where they jump into this little um, cement dish full of tick fluid. Okay. And it, oh, Dipping. Oh, it's called dipping. But then we'd have to dehorn and and nuke them, you know, make them from steer, make them from bulls to steers. Oh wow! Yeah, I didn't <laughs> like any of that. Didn't like any of that. Yeah, hey, um, how was your weekend? You went away. Was how was camper van it weekend? Was, it was great. The weather held out. No rain, but it, it was uh, so hot. It was so hot. It was 96 degrees, and we were roasting alive. But it was a water park. You know, we spent the majority of the time at the water park, so it was. A lot oh, so of oh, you camped at the water park? Yeah. Well, we camped at a campground right beside, right beside oh. the water park and the um, amusement park. So okay. yeah, it's right beside it. It's wonderful. It's awesome. We went to Holiday World, as, as some of you know. Is that like Wally's World? It's, it's in Indiana, Santa Claus, Indiana. <laughs> so we stayed, our campground was Lake Rudolph. Everything is Christmas holiday oh, themed. Oh, yeah, already? Yeah. Or, all, all year, year round. All year oh round. my. Yeah, Do you remember the movie National Lampoon's Vacation? I know what it is, but I haven't seen so, it. So, you know, is favorites. it Wally's World? It's kind of like that. So, <laughs> have, is that a real place, Wally's World? I don't think so, no. That oh. was a, but, um, you know, it's kind of that type of adventure, you know. Really? I mean, you're traveling, you're out in the middle of nowhere going to Indiana. I mean, it's all farmlands and everything, and all of a sudden, it happens upon you. I See, mean, we don't have really anything bizarre. like that in Australia. Mm -hmm. We have um, Warner Brothers Studio, we have Dream World and Sea World, but we don't have what you guys have these huge big theme parks. What's Dream World? Dream World is, it's, um, it's like roller coasters and everything, uh -huh. but it doesn't, it seems to be a lot more modern. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? It okay. doesn't have the history that you guys have with all your theme parks and mm -hmm. everything. Yeah. Yeah, anyway. Huh. Hey, uh, Lisa, you can tell everyone with what we're doing. Yes, oh, hold yes. on. What did you do? <laughs> oh, I had a nice weekend. What did you um, do? Um, I... Sorry. I went to see some friends back home, and yeah, then nice. um, yesterday I went downtown in the afternoon. I went to Carson's for the first time. Oh, it was really yeah. good. They opened the whole front, and so by then the temperatures dropped a little and a nice breeze. Mm. Had a mimosa, and they nice. have the best baked brie I think I've ever had. Oh, so shut, shut your mouth. We gotta go. <laughs> oh. Do you make a good baked brie? I can't. I love we gotta baked go baked together. Hey, listen, now hold on. You saw my Instagram post on the weekend. I was feeling a little hungry Saturday morning. Mm -hmm. So the, all that was in my fridge was a tube of Vegemite and six <laughs> Corona beers. <laughs> You should have come. To I know. <laughs> How sad is it? So I immediately got in the car, went over to Fresh Market, and um, saw those juices that you were talking about. Not Fresh Market. You um, went to Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's. Trader I Joe's. I love Trader Joe's. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love that place. Yes, it's nice. Yeah, it is. So I got my weekend supplies there. Mm -hmm. I filled the fridge up, not by much. Well, good. You. Did you do anything fun and exciting? No. What did you do? Um, Besides fill your refrigerator back well, up? Well, new episode of Game of Thrones, right? <laughs> oh, you know what? No, that's for tonight. I'm oh. I recorded. I recorded. I'm going to watch it tonight. <laughs> hey, Lisa, tell us about this amazing <laughs> wedding. I will. Giveaway. I will. Well, if there are a if there's a fiancés out there that are looking uh, to be married anytime soon, are guess you what? Going off script? We <laughs> I am trying. <laughs> He's always getting on me because I read the teleprompter. What's right there is what I'm going to read. So he's been riding me about that. But be patient with me, everyone, because guess what? If you are the ultimate UK fans and you're engaged to get married, we are giving away the ultimate big blue wedding giveaway worth over $25,000. And we're going to tell you all about it. We have Hillary, uh, Hillary, not Hillary. We, <laughs> we have Holly. Holly, here. thank you. Not <laughs> Hillary. Holly coming in, and she's going to be telling us about all the prizes. You can see some of them on the scripts now. Um, but what do we do, my friend? I mean, but what is so cool is that everything that's included 
a value of up to $25,000. $25,000, people. So go over to our website. That's WTVQ.com slash contest. You can find all the information on the banner there. Yeah. Send in a picture of you and your fiance, a little story, and you'll be entered to win. This is the biggest giveaway I think I've ever seen. Well, I, this is something I wanted to put together. This was something we did on our show in Utah, mm -hmm. and it was so popular. Oh, okay. And I said to everyone here, we have to do a wedding giveaway. Absolutely. So just How remember, everyone, got to be engaged, <laughs> be a UK fan, and also be prepared to have a UK-themed wedding, January, cool. February, or March only. <laughs> That's the exciting part. Oh, it's so awesome. And I mean, she's going to also officiate you. <laughs> oh, I am. I'm like, I would love it. I, I would know. love it. We know. <laughs> as long as you read the script, because you can't go off <laughs> I have to. Read. Hey, um, I wanted to tell you both about this. Tell me what you think after you see this. Let me tell you a little bit about it first. Videos of teenagers dunking basketballs in strangers' hoops have started sweeping the internet and NBA players are getting involved. Now, what they do is the drive-by dunk challenge or simply hashtag drive-by drunk challenge went viral last week on Instagram. Now, this guy, T. Curry, posted a video of himself randomly driving up to people's houses getting out of the car, dunking the basketball into the, is that what you call a hoop? A, a hoop. hoop. Uh -huh. Now, already it's had 10,000 views, uh, followers. Here's my problem with this. When I say this, it's no disrespect. I am so worried that this is becoming very popular. This already had 70,000 views, everyone. Uh -huh. What happens if they rock up to someone's house and some guy is there, or woman, with a gun? <laughs> I'm sorry, you're going onto someone's property. You're going on somebody's property, but I don't believe that you can be shot on the outside of the home. If they were breaking into the home, then uh, you would, if you felt you. your life was Just in danger... Just let me say this to you also, Lisa. Right. What, guns are a major problem. I know, I understand. So there are people who are fanatics. Yes. Mm -hmm. So when I say this, what scares me, I think it's a it wonderful does. challenge and it's a lot of fun. But what scares me right. is there was a part of that video, which we didn't show, that he jumped out of the car, ran up to where two young, young kids were playing, uh -huh. and started and dunked the ball, took their ball and dunked it. Now, it was fun, mm -hmm. and it was funny to watch, but what worries me is that if this keeps happening mm -hmm. and other kids get involved, mm -hmm. that it could go astray. And really, I think, look at the people get shot. It, they do. Or they something do. happens. What happens if someone throws a can bear at them saying, get off my property? Right, or right. Somebody could definitely get hurt. I you're mean, running. You're, you're trespassing. Picture this. You're sitting on your front porch. Mm -hmm. A car pulls up. A young guy jumps out, runs to the house. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. But if they're mm -hmm. dribbling a ball and heading towards the court, I think I think would think it's funny. Right. Um, I'd be like, oh, that's so cute. Do you think I'm overreacting? Yeah, I think it's different. Um... It, it's odd if there's like kids playing in the yard or taking their ball. I think that's totally different than just bringing kind of your own ball out of the car and dribbling it. And yeah, dunking. I mean, I think, and they're doing this in broad daylight. I do think whatever your opinions are on, you know, guns. A lot, of, most people are responsible gun owners. They're mm -hmm. not just sitting on their porch waiting to shoot someone that drives up. I can't. And it's the middle of the day. He's not coming to break into the home. Right. So I think it's fun. I think yeah. it's all good fun. I'm not concerned. It is. I <laughs> mean, you're, you have a valid concern. There's good. I have a concern that, because what I see on the yeah. news of these people who, like, you know, someone could be sitting in the car beside you at traffic light, mm -hmm. and you get into a bit of a rage road, and they come out and shoot you, mm -hmm. or you know, you get fired from your job, and they decide to come back and shoot up the gym. This mm -hmm. is all facts. Yeah, yeah. This is not it me is. making it, it up. It is. No, I, I agree. It scares me. But, but I think I think it is in all. I think in all honestly, I think it is in good fun, and I think that. This becoming popular, a craze on, um, on the internet right now, is kind of bringing attention to it so that people aren't as alarmed if somebody does get out yeah. and dribbles a ball okay, up that's their actually basket, a good you know? Point. So that's hopefully point, that yeah. helps. Okay, I got you there. Tell us what you think. Head over to our Facebook page, Midday Kentucky, and tell us if you think I'm overreacting. I can take it. I've got big shoulders. <laughs> um, uh, Katie, talking about infused sheets coffee infused sheets yes. what? i had to uh, bring this up when i saw it online because it's an australian company and also oh, remember last week we were talking oh, it's brilliant thing. we were talking about <laughs> how often you should change your sheets and your pillowcases and that study it said every other day for pillowcases yeah so mm -hmm. this company is making they make it out of coffee yarn it's from those plants 
And it doesn't smell like coffee. Well, I wish. Coffee plants? It's the way, I don't know exactly how they make the yarn, but the yarn is derived from coffee. Okay. So um, that is interwoven into the sheets, and they say that it wicks away the moisture twice as much as a cotton sheet. So you could oh. keep your sheets on for longer. This was, I just thought that was so cool. And then I thought, I wish I could get a sheet that had a scent. And they have some fun with it. Their patterns, um, they have like mocha and it's just like brown sheets. And yeah. then like vanilla latte was just, That's cute. you know, the regular but, sheets. And, and I just so thought it was a cute little thing to bring so, up. So there's no scent to the sheets whatsoever. It's just to keep the, the yes. moisture. No more than out. what it would be when we have our spray tans. Right, right. And for the next right. few days, all you smell right. is spray tan on your sheets. <laughs> but it could be wicking away the, sh the Yeah, but those sheets maybe. are also made from bamboo. Did it, did it say a price? Because I did see that it was on There were a bunch of different prices, but now they have they have funded the project and now they're getting into production. Ah, so interesting. That, interesting. that was pretty cool. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, would you sleep in those type of sheets? I would. I mean, as long okay. as they're comfortable, as long okay. as they're soft. I wonder, would you want scented sheets? If it was possible, no. if they existed. Oh, I, I would. Think I, I might. would love that. Coffee I don't even sheets. like I don't like to drink coffee, but I love the smell of it. Yeah. I love it. I do. You're not a coffee drinker? No, I'm not. Actually, I've never seen you have a cup mm -mm, of coffee. No. Or some of the candle scents, like the yeah. um, candleberry. What's the mm -hmm. one? Hot toddy. Nice. If I could have hot toddy <laughs> sheets. <laughs> yeah. You have a bit of a problem. French vanilla. <laughs> have you ever smelled the French hot vanilla toddy? Coffee. I've you, drank plenty of hot toddies. Your nose, your nose has not lived. <laughs> okay, so yeah. let's talk about um, what pet sounds and are you saying that we need to make pet sounds yeah, for no. our animals? No. Oh. <laughs> no, that's not at all. No, what this is, is I came across, I thought it was really cool. Um, there is technology now that is coming out where they are, and it, it's funded by Amazon, actually. They're doing, they're funding the research behind this, but they're looking to develop translators for animals to translate their sounds, their barks, their meows into actually into words, into what? being able to communicate Listen, with Listen, they animals. can't even do that with dolphins or whales yet. <laughs> but they are, here's like for instance, this is a cartoon called Up, and my kids and I love this cartoon. But this was the technology that they had in the cartoon was where they had dog translators on there and they were all talking, the dogs would talk throughout the movie through this digital device that was hooked onto their collar. Well, that's exactly what the study is looking to do and they are developing it and they think that this technology is going to be available within the next 10 years. <laughs> I'm just sitting here thinking <laughs> <laughs> if that becomes popular, there'll be dogs <laughs> like excuse me dad can you not pick your nose while you're watching TV or <laughs> you will never need another partner in your life because someone who lives alone I often talk to myself right yeah. so if I now have a dog that I know can talk back why do I need a partner? Yeah, interesting. I've just got my inbuilt company. <laughs> it's true. I mean, and that's true. And that's a lot of people. They know Amazon, obviously, investing into this. They know the, the potential financial gain that they can have from this because people are so but into their animals, know? into their pets. I would. What about all the dogs that this. sit in your bedroom when you're making love? You know, <laughs> no. like, you know, no. you've seen all those moves. Uh, come on. Let's be real, people. <laughs> That all happens. There's all conversations on the web, and there's l like it's uncomfortable for some partners. They're like, "Can you get rid of your dog? We're making out." <laughs> all of a sudden, the dog could be saying, "You know, Peter, you could be doing a little bit better. We should be at base number two by now." Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it could happen, Troy. Exactly. It could happen. Exactly. I think it'd make life interesting, actually. But <laughs> tell but us yeah. what you think. I'm sure it's great for pet lovers. Head over to our Midday Kentucky Facebook page. <laughs> Crazy, stay tuned for some live music, everyone from Vanessa Davis. You're watching Crazy Midday Kentucky. Be right back.